Hello everyone, welcome to the official YouTube channel of Royal Defence Academy. So if you are preparing for Senate School, Military School and REM Sitrizar Coaching, so you are at the right destination to the path of your success. So today we are having our topic adjective of English and we are going to make the brief introduction of the chapter that is the types of adjectives. First of all, what is an adjective? Adjectives are basically the words which tell about the quality or extra information about noun and pronoun. Noun and pronoun, we everyone knows that nouns are basically naming word used to name person, place, animal, thing or idea. The pronouns are basically the words which are used at the place of noun in order to uh, avoid the repetition of noun. So these two things that is noun and pronoun when we modify them with the help of a word that word is called as adjective. So adjectives are basically the modifiers that modify the noun and pronouns. It gives basically the extra information regarding noun and pronoun. Now in your syllabus we are having basically seven types of adjective. Adjective of quality, quantity, number, number is again divided into three, distributive, definite and indefinite. Interrogative, demonstrative, possessive and proper adjective. First is adjective of quality. Quality we are dealing with the materialistic things that how a body is looking, what are the basic, uh, the proportions of the body, how does it look, it is adjective of quality. Adjective of quality deals with the quali qualities, merit that is the positive qualities, demerits that is the negative qualities. When we deal about three things, it is adjective of quality. When we talk about a noun and pronoun and tell the quality of it, it is adjective of quality. Examples, wise. First of all, wise means uh, intelligent. Large, good, white, etc. Second is adjective of quantity. To what extent the noun or pronoun is involved in the activity? To what extent we are taking the noun or pronoun or to what amount we are taking it? It is adjective of quantity. It is basically uh, related with the uncountable nouns. An adjective of number on the other hand is related with the countable nouns. Adjective that shows the quantity of anything. For example, great in a large amount, some in a small amount and little. Next is adjective of number. Adjective of number is basically dealt with the countable nouns. We are basically dealing with the countable nouns and adjective of number. It shows the amount or numeral number of a noun or pronoun present in the statement. That, and it is again divided into three parts. That is distributive, definite, indefinite. Distributive is that type of adjective when we focus on each and everything. That is uh, one and only Everything that is present in the class of species we are talking about will be taken into consideration. That is distributive adjective. There are two distributive adjectives commonly used each and every. Definite when we are dealing with a proper number that is involved in our counting 1, 2, infinity. Those numbers are uh, definite numbers. Cardinals and ordinal. Uh, definite numbers are again divided into two numbers. That is cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. Cardinal numbers are basically the simple counting that we are dealing with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, infinity and ordinal numbers are the position of a noun or pronoun in a list. List for example we are making a merit list based on the positions of noun. How the noun secured a position and what is the position of noun. That is a merit list. A list based on the merits of noun. It can be first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and last. They are infinity. It can last up to infinity and even one more thing is included that is last. Apart from it, it is same that we write a list. So, ordinals are basic the amount in a list and cardinals are simple counting numbers. Now, indefinite now, adjectives. That is in third part of adjective of number. When we are dealing with a number that we don't know. A unknown number. We are just taking an idea that in a large amount, small amount, in that case we will use indefinite adjectives. Examples are several, some, any, few. These four are used for countable number first of all. And second thing, when we talk about a noun or pronoun, these adjectives don't show a specific number. It just tells about a quantity with the reference to the situation. For example, I am talking about a class that is maybe 5th class. I am talking of 5th class that there are many students in 5th class. Now it doesn't mean that there are thousands of students in 5th class. I am talking out based on that particular school. It depends from school to school. It depends from class to class. It varies from situation to situation. So indefinite adjectives are basically adjectives dealing with a number that is unknown. We are just giving an idea. Third is, fourth is interrogative adjectives. Interrogative adjectives are basically those ad adjectives which are going to ask questions about noun and pronoun. When we are asking questions about noun and pronoun with the help of WH words, these are inter interrogative adjectives which, what, whose. In these three questions, the answer will be a noun or a pronoun. That's why these are interrogative adjectives. 
demonstrative adjective it points a noun and pronoun when we are pointing a noun and pronoun when we are uh, demonstrating it when we are pointing it it is demonstrative uh, demonstra demonstrative adjective there are basically four types this that those and these this and that are used for singular these and those are used for plural this and these are used for near objects that and those are used for far objects these four are de demonstrative adjectives we are dealing with next is possessive adjective possessive each and every one knows that possession is related to the ownership of noun and pronoun who is the owner of noun and pronoun to whom the noun and pronoun is belonging is possessive adjective my our your their my is showing possession of i our is showing possession of we your is showing possession of you and their is showing possession of they these are showing possessions these are possessive adjectives these are telling us that who is the owner or possession of the noun and pronoun the last one is proper adjective proper adjectives are basically the adjectives derived from a proper noun proper noun are the specific name of a person or person place animal or thing basically proper noun are specific nouns when we are talking about a person thing animal idea and specific it is proper noun a proper noun for example china india italy germany from these word we are deriving some adjectives for example indian china uh, from china we are deriving chinese germany german and australia australian europe european or asia asian these are the basically the adjectives that are derived from a proper noun so these are the basic introduction a brief introduction related to the types of adjective we are dealing with and this is a short topic that we have covered in a very less time i hope you understand the topic well thank you for watching the video do like share and subscribe to our channel